This video will give brief overview on Framingham Heart Study for History of Modern Epidemiology. This is Dr. Thomas Dauber, an epidemiologist who lead the Framingham Heart Study. He is the director of the study from 1949 until 1966. Interesting facts about him is despite of serving in public health service, he had no training in epidemiology when he began to lead the Framingham study. So, he and Kennel enrolled at the Harvard School of Public Health to learn and earn their Masters in Public Health. This study team wanted to answer the question of what is the risk factor of developing heart disease or cardiovascular disease. So, they enrolled 5,209 men and also women from age 30 to 62 years old and living in Framingham. And the subject must not develop any symptom yet of CVD or suffer from heart attack or strokes. So the plan is to follow them for 20 years and record the outcome and development of stroke, hypertension and coronary heart disease. To achieve this goal, the subject was asked to return every two years to a testing center to examine history, physical examination and also lab tests such as measuring their blood pressure and do one-to-one -one interview. Some of their milestones in this study where they found out the relationship between blood pressure and cholesterol, where high cholesterol will contribute to heart disease. They also show a component of cholesterol, HDL, where the high level of HDL decreased the risk of heart disease. Smoking also was part of their finding where smoking increased the risk of coronary heart disease. This study also showed that physical activity is good and it has lowered the risk of heart disease. And the Framingham study has developed a risk prediction rule that predicts the risk of developing heart disease or heart attack in the next 10 years by plugging some of the value at a certain risk factor into their formula. The success of the study are first, a clear vision and scientific rigors of the research investigator. Number two, meticulous work of the research staff and also extraordinary generosity of the research participant. Until now, the study has continued to 72 years of cohort. The Framingham study has three generation cohort, which starting from the original cohort in 1948, followed by their offspring and spouses in 1971 and also additional cohort called Omni Cohort which is third generation in 2002 where part of them are the grandchildren of the original cohort. The Framingham study is most cited reference in the medical literature until now. Thank you.